Hi guys, and welcome back to Creative Glam. I'm so glad you stopped by. If you're new here, hello and welcome. My name is Sharon. I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel by clicking that subscribe button below and turning on your notification bell to all so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos. I would also appreciate if you leave me a comment and make sure you hit that like button because this helps my channel to grow here on YouTube. In today's video, I thought that I would share with you a couple high-end DIYs. In my first DIY, I'm going to share with you a sign. I purchased this box on sale from Hobby Lobby for $4. And I'm going to be using these wooden beads as feet. I'm going to keep them in their natural tone. Uh, I already own these. I got those from Amazon. I'll link them down below in the description box. I created a sign. It's kind of like a tribal boho type sign that says home sweet home one of our favorite places to be I created this uh, online I printed it out so I'm gonna use my laminator to gold foil just the center word that says sweet the calligraphy one I think that would be really attractive so uh, I'm gonna take this over to the laminator and gold foil this and then we can put it together okay we're at the laminator now um, I am going to be using this gold foil on my sign this is a deco gold foil this is something that I also got from Amazon and I'll link that down below too so let's laminate I always, uh, when I create a print for a frame, I always print a couple of them just to give myself room for error. Oh, that is gorgeous. I love to gold foil. That is beautiful. Let's go put this together. Okay, we're back and I've gold foiled the sign. I love the way that looks. I think that is so pretty. It just takes it up a notch. You could go for all of it, but I just wanted to accent the word sweet because it was the calligraphy, it kind of stood out. So I wanted to take it up a little bit. When I created my print, I kept the frame dimensions in mind. So, I'm gonna take my adhesive tape runner and run just a little tape on here I don't need a lot like I said this is gonna be like semi-permanent it'll stay as long as I want it to stay but when I want to change it out with the seasons or just because I feel like it I can Boom, I love it. Now I'm gonna take, go. Isn't that beautiful? I love that. I love it, love it, love it. That is very pretty. Now I'm gonna take and put the natural wood feet on it. So I'm gonna turn it upside down like that. Can you see it? I do this and I am going to do that. I was considering doing it with some E6000, but I don't know, we'll see. I think I'm just gonna use my hot glue. And I'm just gonna put that. I want it to butt out just a little bit.
And in this next DIY, I'm going to be using Dollar Tree products to create a decorative tabletop accent. Uh, you can use it as a bowl, you can use it as a planter. Uh, it's just a high-end accent piece uh, that you can use anywhere in your home for any season. As I'm sure you all recognize, these bowls came from the Dollar Tree. I have some matte black spray paint. And I also got some wooden, some little small wooden beads that I'm considering putting on the top uh, edge of this bowl. Kind of like the accent piece, but I will link it right here. That was my inspiration piece. But I couldn't decide whether or not I wanted to put the beads on there or not. I am going to uh, put these, I'm going to hot glue these two pieces together. And once I do that, I'll then decide whether I wanted to put the beads on or just leave it as it is and then I'm going to spray paint the whole piece in a matte black. It would be nice to use this as something like a fruit bowl or something that you can because I'm spray painting the inside and the outside I won't be able to use it for any food products but you can certainly put um, dec dec you can certainly put decorative accent balls uh, you can put uh, farmhouse beads you can put you can put moss or even flowers but you can't put any food in it once you spray the inside. So, let's put this together and then we can go paint. Oh, that one came off easy, that's good. Some of these don't come, some of these tags don't come off very easy and one of my subscribers told me to use a hairdryer to get them off. And I'm hoping I don't have to do that. I'm hoping they just come off like that that works for me hey guys let's connect on social media on instagram and pinterest at creative glam one i'm gonna leave additional photos to this video over there stop by and check me out and make sure you follow okay then i'm gonna stand up for this so that i can get, make sure i get it centered Hot glue is hot. Okay. So I'm gonna clean up the cobwebs from the hot glue and I'm gonna take this outside and paint it. I'll be right back. So I went over to my local Goodwill and I purchased this pedestal for a dollar. You have to assemble it yourself, but still, it was just a dollar. It is a pedestal, it's a black pedestal. Um, so I'm gonna take it and I, I'm not exactly sure where I'm gonna sit it. So I'm gonna decorate this and find a home for it.
tuning in. I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me today. I hope that I was able to give you some home decor inspiration. Which DIY did you like best? If you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bells. I'd also appreciate if you gave me a thumbs up. So hit that like button too. At the end of this video, you'll see two video links. Click one to see more home decor and DIYs by Creative Glam. And with that being said, have a blessed day and I'll see you right back here next time on Creative Glam. Bye!